So this is my networking pile. It's all the things that were connecting the stuff in my house and some things that were honestly not doing anything at all. I truly believe that the best solution for a networking setup is to have it all mounted on a wall. But I rent, which is probably something that a lot of you do as well. Because I rent, I can't dictate what I can screw into my wall very easily, at least very destructively. And screwing a whole bunch of things into one small area is something my landlord would probably be pretty pissed about. So I don't really have that as an option. But what I can do is get a big piece of board, mount everything onto this, and then lean this up to the wall. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm tired of this giant pile of networking crap, and I'm gonna solve the problem. Corsair claims unrivaled comfort and universal compatibility on its new Void Surround headset. Featuring a genuine Dolby 7.1 headphone USB adapter, click the link in the video description to learn more. I'm just going to get all these Ethernet cables out of the way. So basically how all my things need to work is the internet needs to come in through the fiber line to my modem, then go over to the router, which has terrible Wi-Fi that always drops all the time. So we'll then go from the router to my access point and from the router to my switch, because this also obviously doesn't have enough plugs. I need way more than four. So all of this needs to go onto the board along with a power bar so they can all be actually powered. I also want to label all of the adapters so that I know where they're going. And I have some stuff lying around, which I'll get to in a moment in terms of managing all the cables once they're on the board. So now we need to work on layout. Okay, so this is what I have to work with. I'm gonna to wanna to cut this down to size with a circular saw eventually, but um, I'm just gonna lay everything out starting on one side, see how far along I have to go, mark that off and cut it. And this will send a whole bunch out. Okay, so this is more or less what I wanna do. I need to take the leg off of this. I need to try to find a shorter power cable for this, and I need to hopefully crimp up some shorter ethernet cables. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to go through my router and carefully remove the warranty void if removed stickers. Who am I kidding? I'm just going to go right through. So the gloss on this D-Link router is just absolutely disgusting, almost as disgusting as its Wi-Fi capabilities. So I'm going to try to scratch it and make it not look glossy anymore. Now I need to do a whole bunch of cable routing and try to find some shorter cables and stuff. So with that, we'll be back. So I went about trying to make my own ethernet cables. I made one of them really well, pretty quickly. And then the whole rest of it was basically one giant unmitigated disaster. So Linus solved that problem by finding cables of all the right lengths already made. So I'm just gonna use those and start on actually Velcroing things down. Okay, so I did some boring, busy work. I Velcroed down the router, the access point, and the modem, the power bar, and these two power adapters. They look a little bit wibbly, but everything is fine. Um, I need to cut the board now. I'm gonna circular saw the board and then use the rest of this board as my networking board. Okay. So next up, I have to fix this switch to the board. This guy's a little heavy. Okay, so my idea of drilling through it will not work because I don't want bolts like way up here on the outside of it. But Velcro, dog, what's up? We used a lot of it. It's expensive. Thanks, Linus. Oh my God, I didn't check the cable length. Wow, that's pretty close. Okay, now I really need to start organizing cables. Okay, so let's start off with some slightly larger cable loops. <laughs> ah, so the force of the drill actually pushes it through. So I can use those washers, that will solve my problem. So all the ethernet cables are good and tied down. You might notice that there's nothing going into the switch from the outside. Well, that kind of makes sense because I'm not at home right now. Um, and those ones aren't really gonna be able to be managed. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but at least I have all the networking kit itself 
all managed and good to go so that if I did need to ever pick it up and move for whatever reason, I would just unplug the devices from it, take this whole board and then I'm good to go, which is pretty cool. And if I need to swap anything out, it's just Velcroed on. This way it doesn't really look like I crossed the cable. <laughs> All right, so we're done. This is it. It's not absolutely perfect, but I like it. I think it's good. Um, I went and played a full ice hockey game in this clothing during this shot. There you go. I didn't even like, this is the shirt I was wearing. So that's kind of weird. Ting is the mobile carrier that's focused on customer service and customer satisfaction first. Don't speak to a robot, they put you directly through to a person and you only pay for what you use. The average Ting bill is only $24 a month per device. If you're stuck in a contract, they'll help you switch over to Ting by covering 25% of your cancellation fee up to $75. So head over to linus.ting.com and try out their savings calculator. When you sign up on our link, you'll also get $25 in service credit or $25 towards a new device. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you guys are inspired and want to make your own like ghetto networking wall because you can't make a cool networking wall because you don't own your own house, please post it on the LinusTechTips.com forum. That would be awesome. I would love to check out how you make yours so much better than mine. So that would be cool. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike the video, dislike it. Don't forget to get subscribed. Don't forget to use our Amazon affiliate code. If you buy anything like uh, wood, although that would be a little weird, to buy from Amazon or any other networking gear. Who knows, whatever, that's cool. Become a contributor on the forum while you're posting your ghetto networking walls. Buy a cool t-shirt, one that's not completely soaked in sweat from ice hockey. And uh, yeah, check out this video, workshop video. Love workshop videos. Gonna be doing more of those all the time because they're great. Go watch that. See you later.